everybody in this call what can we all do to live better so i think the first would be sleep how much how much is it up? it's not about how much it's about how good the quality of the sleep is oh, i knew there was Some people answer. can sleep for 5 hours deep quality wake up energetic some people can sleep for 9 hours and wake up tired it is a quality of sleep and today we need to understand that sleep deprivation is one of the root causes of most diseases we need to understand most diseases that we're talking about today diabetes cancer they're inflammatory diseases caused by inflammation while we sleep inflammation automatically reduces so you can keep popping anti-inflammatory pills curcumin and gingers and all of your stuff that you have every day if you don't sleep well at night okay your body does not heal you so that would be number one sleep the second would be your emotional health i can't tell you if i had to put a percentage to it i would say 90% of our patients who come to us the root cause of their disease has started in their mind and manifested in their body there's a simple story with you four days ago i had this lady who came into me she brought her daughter who had eczema all over her body and uh, she brought her in for a consult and then she said uh, you know look two days ago i got eczema on one finger one finger was completely filled with eczema and she said i believe what you say she saying the night before the night before she saying i asked the universe please take my daughter's eczema away and give it to me 24 hours this happened three days ago she has eczema on one finger of her body is that the time she was completely okay you see the mind is a very powerful tool and destroy us as well look at the amount of people over here the power of everyone's mind it can be used to build something beautiful or could be used to destroy as well so we're losing control of our mind today the way people are reacting to stress and if our emotional health is not good we will have disease or we will not be able to heal most sickness starts in the mind which is why i said mindset we keep changing our mindset some people get cancer and they believe it's all over it will be over some people get cancer and say i'm stronger than this So emotional stress and again everyone says oh but this is life i have stress you see the human mind finds a way to justify everything you can have all the stress in the world but it's how you take that stress most people have attachment to their stress if i lose something means my identity is gone my social status is gone and all of that stuff and that's what depresses us everyone has a problem everyone has a problem but it is how you face it when we tell people meditate like tahira said find a path where you have faith on real things because it grounds you it grounds you so today i may wake up with all the stress in the world but i am grounded because of my faith my practice what i do and that stress doesn't make me sick so emotional stress number two number two number three again it is not a food it is not a super food so people are waiting for me to listen on the top three super foods that's all in food it doesn't really work there are so many people who don't take super foods it doesn't mean their life is going to change or their disease is going to go The third thing is self-discipline. I cannot tell you if anyone thinks about anything they want to achieve in their life or they haven't achieved it or sickness. First look at self-discipline. Most people struggle to lose weight today. Self-discipline. Again, self-discipline. Whether you're trying to heal a disease, you're trying to change your relationship, you're trying to build a career, it comes down to self-discipline. It is the bitter and the ugly truth that no one wants to accept because self-discipline is difficult. It is difficult. Today we don't have self discipline so we say well, let's work out 5 days in a week and binge drink on the weekend. You've just undone the 5 days of good work and the next 5 days. And then we think oh now I need a more complicated diet. I need to move on to keto. I need to become a vegan. I need to do all these extreme things because I don't have self discipline. There's nothing wrong with being a vegan. None of that stuff. It's just an example. Oh let me oh I ate a samosa. Now Google 500 calories. Let's burn 500 calories on the treadmill and I'll burn out that samosa. Unfortunately the body doesn't work on the principle of math it works on physiology chemistry biology you cannot burn those calories so people start eating with guilt people start getting fearful of food and all they need is self discipline you like food eat it be a foodie but why must you overeat you like alcohol drink but why must you overdrink i tell people the problem is not with sugar the problem is not with alcohol the problem is with the person because there are so many people who drink and they're absolutely fine they don't become alcoholics they don't mess up their livers there are so many people who enjoy white sugar and they're absolutely fine and there are some people where this destroys their life the problem is with that person and self discipline so these would be my three tips instill 
self-discipline. The reasons why we can't instill it. Why is self-discipline so difficult? Number one, bitter, ugly truth. We have egos and pride. So we think that, oh, why should I do this? I have wealth and I have comfort. Why should I wake? Why should I go and get the TV remote? Let me buzz and get the servant to pick up the TV remote and give it to me. We think we earn that because we have wealth and we have position. Self-discipline doesn't matter whether you're a sheikh, whether you're a king, whether you're a queen, whether you're the owner of a company. Self-discipline is something that you will do every day over and over again until it becomes a habit like brushing your teeth. So these are my three tips for people to heal and have better lives. <laughs>